Welcome to a 25 minute headstand class. Today I'll be guiding you through some yoga therapy moves to help you with your headstand. When you're ready, let's get started. Alright, when you're ready, let's grab our mat and come into down dog. And lengthen the arms, lift the hips up and slowly come forward, exhale into up dog, open the chest, squeeze the spine, inhale, come back up with the hips, straighten the arms, lengthen the arms, and then transition nice and smoothly to up dog, and back, inhale, and we're just working the spine, move from one to the other, nice and slow, to start with, trying to articulate the spine, Inhaling back, exhaling forward, just waking up the body, waking up the spine, bringing the awareness into the body, and then just start to throw the hips forward, exhale forward, inhale back, exhale, throw the hips down, and inhale back, and keep going like this, throw, and back, exhale, and inhale back, exhale forward, inhale back, keep going, Inhale back, exhale, throw and open the chest. We're trying to squeeze all the poison out of the spine. All right, then come into stillness. And now we drop the hips as if we're in into up dog, but bend the legs and turn, bring the feet to one side. Look at them as you exhale, bring them back to the middle. Inhale and twist feet to the other side. Look at them, exhale, keep the chest up, keep the arms straight and then just go from one side to the other. So don't lift the bum up, yeah? Drop the hips. Hips have to be down. Knees together as much as you can. Twist at the waist. Open the chest, arms straight. Squeeze that waist. Feel it in the sacrum, feel it in the lower back. Keep going for a few more. Look at the feet as you squeeze the waist, drop the bum, keep relaxing the hips down, and then come back. And we straight away transition to our next one, arms forward, chin on the floor, you're gonna be on your toes, legs straight, but walk the toes forward and lift the bum, and then exhale, drop the hips to one side, and inhale center, drop them to the other side, and keep going left and right, left and right and then walk the feet even further forward so the waist opens more and you squeeze the sacrum keep going exhaling one side inhale center exhale other side upper body is passive arms stay straight head stays relaxed shoulders stay relaxed all the work is in the sacrum and in the lower back keep going roll the hips side to side keep walking the toes every so often forward because they tend to slide back and then catch your breath, stay there. Give it a second, you should feel that in the sacrum. This is really good for people with hormonal problems because it, it squeezes the sacrum and hormonal problems come with uh, too much congestion and acid buildup in the sacrum. Next one, arms to the sides, palms down, in line with the shoulders, lift the leg up, inhale, and take it over to the side, exhale. Keep the shoulders down on the mat. Take the leg far, far, far to the side and then inhale, bring it back. Let's do the other side. Inhale, lengthen it as high as you can and then exhale, take it as far over to the side as you can. Keep the opposite shoulder down. Bring it back, we do one more on each side. Exhale over, squeeze it and back, this is also working your sacrum, and then do the other side, last one, exhale, take the leg over, reach, 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 and then bring it back, relax, okay, and then the next one, we're gonna activate the whole back of the body, so take the arms forward, palms down, lengthen the arms, okay, and we're gonna lift the arms up, exhale, come down, inhale, lift the legs up, Keep them as straight as you can, exhale, this is really challenging, inhale down, and then lift everything off, exhale, legs and arms, and we go for 10, 1, 
two, lift everything. Three, four, keep exhaling each time. Five, six, higher, seven, longer, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful. All right, and then next one, we're gonna rock. Okay, this is hard if you've never done it with the coordination, but try. Lift the front and then legs. And front and legs. And throw. One. And two. And three. Keep everything strong and straight and activated. Five. Exhale. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Relax everything. Woo. Well done. This is definitely not easy. Okay, this allows us to release the tension at the front of the body and activate the spine. All right, stay down and catch your breath. Relax. If you need more time, um, you can always pause the video. Just catch your breath and then come back up. You're gonna get into a headstand. So place your hands underneath the shoulders to know how far your elbows have to be. We'll grab opposite elbows. Okay, elbows not too wide, otherwise it'll be difficult later on to balance. Place the fingers, tuck the head between the hands. You're on your forehead. And then tuck the toes under. You're gonna lift the knees off the ground as you exhale. Straighten the legs, bum up. And then don't walk the feet, drag the feet. So you go on top of the feet and use your core to drag, 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 drag until your hips are stacked up above your shoulders and then if you can gently lift the feet off the ground keep the legs bent if you find it hard to balance keep the knees tucked in keep your heels towards the bum if the feet don't come off the floor just stay there with the bum up and keep trying to drag the feet keep trying to move the hips above the shoulders if you're up into a headstand and you feel stable, then you can try to lift the knees above, stack them right above the hips. This is a tricky exercise and it's good to practice before getting the legs straight. Stay there, breathe, and then slowly come down. Come down slowly, as slowly as you went up. And then go into child's pose, bring one fist on top of the other. This allows the tension in the neck or in the cervicals to release. Stay there for a few breaths. Okay, we move on. If you need more rest, pause the video. Otherwise, let's keep going. So we're going to open the spine, build the core, take the arms above the head, palms up. Legs together, pull the toes back and lift the legs up. Exhale. Take them down, inhale, take them up. And then throw the legs down and stop them just before they touch the ground. Exhale, throw the legs down, inhale, up. Exhale, throw them down, inhale, up. And do a few more. Exhale down, inhale, up. Keep the arms long. Keep your chin down, tucked in into your chest. And feel the core building. Keep going. Throw the legs hard. Keep the legs straight. Beautiful. Yeah, that's about 10. Now take the hands, place the palms on the bottom ribs, elbows wide. You're going to use your elbows okay, in this next exercise. You're going to open that space between your shoulder blades. So legs straight, pull the toes back hard. Inhale and exhale. Take the legs over to the right. Inhale, come back. Don't touch the floor. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale up and use your elbows to bring the legs back up. Press with your elbows into the ground and do a few more exhaling over keep the legs straight keep the feet same alignment with the hips don't let the feet go forward okay now come back to the center with the legs move the hands at the top of the chest and then keep doing the same thing with the legs this changes the focus into the back keep going for a few more exhaling over inhaling up exhale over keep the legs straight Keep the toes back. Beautiful. Just a few more. Well done. Bring the feet on the floor. Catch your breath. Palms up. Relax the legs. 
Okay, and now we get the shoulder joint to release a little bit by taking the arms out to the sides and then twist the arms one way as you exhale, twist them the other way as you exhale, twist one way and the other way and really twist and lengthen the arms. Move them away from each other. Twist hard one way, exhale, twist hard the other way, exhale, one way. Just like you were trying to get rid of um, water and you're rinsing a towel, move that water out of the towel, squeeze it hard and go a little bit faster for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. And same thing, take the legs up to 45 degrees, keep the legs there, keep the legs straight and then go for 10. Keep going, exhale one way, exhale the other. Keep the legs straight, pull the toes back. And beautiful. We've done 10. And now even harder, come up. Sit up, legs up. And lean back a little bit. And then we go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. So building the core, engaging the core as you get the shoulders to release works even better. Very important to have the core engaged and the shoulders relaxed. Make fist for the next one and bring the fist up into your armpits. Legs straight, pull the toes back, legs together and then go forward and down. Bring the elbows towards each other. Squeeze them so you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. Inhale back, exhale go forward. And back, inhale, and a little bit faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. And come back, spread the legs. And we keep doing the same thing with our arms. Legs wide, pull the toes back. Press the knees into the ground, fist up into your armpits, elbows coming towards each other, and then lean forward, exhale. Come down, inhale, come back. Squeeze the elbows, I have to remind myself as well, press the knees down, and at the end of your exhale, stay there, empty lungs, keep going forward. Don't breathe in, come back, inhale, Exhale forward, knees down, elbows towards each other, belly towards the floor. Inhale back and again exhale down. Press the knees, press the heels, legs are active. Inhale back and again exhale forward. Hold empty lungs, don't breathe in and back beautiful now just relax on your back catch your breath Alright, we're going to squeeze the sacrum next. So bring the soles of the feet together and knees out wide. Hands behind the head, lace the fingers. Keep your upper body relaxed down and keep the knees relaxed. Soften the knees. So this is going to open the hips and squeeze the lower back, squeeze the sacrum at the same time. So exhale, lift the hips up. Keep the knees out, don't let the knees come up. Inhale, lower down and you can see the knees soften immediately try again exhale lift the hips upper body stays relaxed and lower down and two more exhale lift the hips and lower keep the knees down and last one lift the hips and then take the elbow to the knee right elbow towards the right knee come back to the middle 
left elbow towards the left knee, come back to the middle, exhale, go to the right, and bring the knee towards the elbow as well. Go to the left, exhale, squeeze the waist, and then we go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Relax the hips down. All right, the next one we're going to do is with one long breath out. Just do as many as you can with one long breath out, okay? So take a big breath in. Exhale, lift the hips up, keep the knees out. Another big breath in. And then we go one, two, three, exhale, exhale, keep exhaling, don't breathe in, keep going, keep going, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, keep going, all the breath is gone. And when you, you have to breathe in, come back down, relax, straighten the legs. Catch your breath. Uh, next one, we're going to do a variation on shoulder stand to get into it. Lift the legs halfway up, pull the toes back, keep the legs there, keep pressing the arms down, keep your chin down, and legs up to the ceiling, exhale, and then use your arms, inhale here, and exhale, shoot the legs back. You don't have to have the feet touching the floor, you can have the legs parallel to the floor, a little bit high up. That's fine. If you need to hold your low back, then do so. And if your feet touch the floor, then press into your heels. Activate the whole back body. From the spine, back of the legs, bottom of the feet. Stay there, breathe. Don't forget about the arms. Next breath out, bend the arms and legs at the same time. Hold the low back. And then lift the knees, same height as your hips. Inhale here. And exhale, take the knees to the right. Keep the hips up, keep the hips stacked on top of the shoulders. Inhale, knees back to the middle. Exhale, knees to the left. And inhale, back to the middle. And exhale, go to the right again. Back to the middle. And go to the left, exhale. And back to the middle. Keep the hips up, use your hands. Support the lower back. Try to take the feet as well to the side. Don't let the feet back in the middle. Take them over to the side. So one side of your waist squeezes. And one shoulder has to push down more. And one side of the waist opens one tightens one opens okay this gives us more stability and security in the back this will help for headstand later keep doing a few more then legs the thighs stay parallel to the floor and then bend the knees into the chest straighten the legs straighten the arms and then slowly roll down keep the chin down Keep the shoulders down, keep the legs straight, go halfway down, exhale, stay there, and then again, halfway down, exhale, and then all the way down. Relax the feet, palms up, stay there for a few breaths. And then we're going to try headstand again. So many benefits to headstand. It's anti-aging. They call it the king of asanas. It opens the crown of the head, keeps our ima imagination going, gives us ideas and stimulates the top of the head, stimulates the, opens the, the crown chakra. Perfect pose to practice during winter. It works the bladder especially, which runs along the spine all the way up to the top of the head and to the little toe. So get into position for headstand. 
tuck your head down, elbows not too wide, okay, keep the elbows close together and then lift the knees off, straight legs, mine into the elbows and don't walk, okay, you have to pull the toes, pull and drag the feet so you're on top of the feet, that's it, drag, drag, drag and then if you're stuck there, just stay there, you don't have to go further than that. Do not kick up, okay? You have to get to that state smoothly with control. If you can lift the legs, then bend the knees into the chest. If it's hard for you to balance, stay there. Otherwise, if you feel comfortable, then slowly lift the knees up, 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 up until they stack up above the hips. And stay there. And if you feel comfortable, then straighten the legs. Squeeze the legs together. Inside ankle going up. And just stay wherever you are. If you're not used to headstand, then just stay there 10 seconds, 10 breaths. If you're used to it, you can stay a little bit longer. And just add to the time. Practice every day and each week you add 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Practice it every day. Such a good pose. Reverses the aging. And it's really good to feel stability, security, because it relates to the bladder. And the main emotion relating to bladder is fear and the need for safety. If um, you're comfortable in headstand, then you can do different variations. One leg forward, one leg back, or twisting the legs, twisting the waist. Take the legs wide, do whatever you want, have fun with it once you feel comfortable. And once you feel you've had enough, slowly come down, okay? Don't drop out of it. You go into it slowly and smoothly, then come out of it slowly and smoothly. Take your time, then once you're down, go into child's pose, one fist on top of the other, and stay there. The rule of thumb is that if you were up for a certain amount of time, you have to stay down in child's pose for half of that amount of time. Okay, bringing the head on top of the fists allows any pressure in the neck to release. Very good to avoid any injury in the cervical. A lot of people get injured trying to do a headstand or doing it wrong for years because they don't know how to get into it, they don't know how to come out of it, or they don't have the core strength to get into it. Thank you for joining guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. Stretch that like button. Hope to see you soon for another class.